control control I'm gonna I'm gonna organize my ooh I'm gonna organize my emails while I wait for people to come in and we are live delicious okay <gasps> hey potato yeah I, pr I probably won't control these emails this one's about cooking what am i even gonna do oh humble bundle spooky horror bundle that's new how many of these do i have surprisingly only one of them and i know that at least another one sucks <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Good omens. Let's talk. Have you finished it yet? Oh yeah, it's, it, it is super platonic. I agree with you. <laughs> it's still a love story. Hi. Oh, bunny. What is it? Oh, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was um the most precious thing i've ever seen did he or did i oh is there an irl comic i need to be looking at uh oh you decided to watch this instead that's cool why does this keep trying to scan stop it i don't want to scan right now I keep telling you to stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. <sighs> do I need to go look in the IRL chat? That's something I need to do right now. No, the Viking came in. Let me try and emulate this for you. He does it very well, so I'm not going to be able to do it quite as well as he does. But he came into the room. The door's open. It's usually closed when we're both home. Then and he like starts getting up on his toesies and he's like got his in front of him like this, like getting really excited about something like like gasping with with excitement. <laughs> Which is why I was like, what is it? What is it? <laughs> and then he very quietly was like, I'm gonna go poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> uh, he is truly a giver. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, comics. Comic storage? Should I be looking in the storage or somewhere else? You're also pretty. This is a good boop. The server is giving me diabetes. Wake up. <laughs> it's control. <laughs> oh, this? His muscles scream on each other. One day I'll die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Except he's not. What? Hefty. What? Where are the coordinates? <laughs> you can't stop me, Oni-chan. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's understandable to get them confused. All right, let's play. So just, um, as a uh, preliminary statement, I played this for about 20 minutes yesterday just because I wanted to get a feel for it and like make sure I wasn't crazy and like taking up time uh, setting up how to control everything, like making sure the controls were set up right, my mouse sensitivity was good, the brightness was good for streaming, so on and so forth. So I've just watched the intro and I played for about 20 minutes. Not a lot else has happened, <laughs> so. Um, for me, as a mouse and keyboard person, um, it was fine 
generally speaking, most games, I think their mouse sensitivity is way too high. So, but thankfully it lets you change both the looking around mouse sensitivity and the aiming mouse sensitivity, which is really cool. And just because I'll be talking while I'm playing a little bit, I didn't want to get too distracted with how bad I am at shooting things. So I did turn on the, uh, it's the mouse, it's like the aim snap. So it slows down time just a tiny bit while you're in aiming mode. So yeah, over at pre previous progress, that's fine. Um, once I've gotten used to like how quickly Jesse moves around, that definitely helped. All right, let's be quiet. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. Ashank Redemption? The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? The rendering for her face model is so lovely. Okay. Uh... What'd you say? Uh, this really is Max Payne. I never actually played Max Payne. <laughs> now that I think about it, I, I watched someone else play some of it, but I never played it myself. It's interesting that as soon as she walks into the Federal Bureau of Control, you can already see like the weird distortion, um, which I think is super interesting. Uh, face model for Max Payne, one writer for the series and the voice actor for Max Payne are involved, which excites you. Um, gonna make a poop joke about the guy until the gun entered the frame. Well, wasn't Max Payne for the PS1 or something? Or if it was for the PS2, it was way before I owned a PS2, because I didn't own one until, gosh, I don't think I owned one until I'd turned like 16 or 17. Okay, so let's actually start walking around. So here are a few of the things that I kind of noticed when I was walking around. Um, are all on PC now. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Um, I know a lot of games have ported over. I just don't know if I'd want to like spend the time. Okay, so right now I don't have a gun, so no no pointing yet. But a few interesting things I noticed. X Pain One was PS2 because you recall walking in your mom during the dead baby spook bit. I don't even, see. I don't even know what you're talking about. I I, t <laughs> I don't I don't know that. So here's something that I find very interesting, and it'll get pointed out when you look at this. Um, so let's 
pick this up, correspondence. Um, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, collectibles. So correspondence. Prohibited items reminder, Federal Bureau of Control. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils, any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. So here's what I find really interesting about that. It seems like a really weird, like, collection of items, right? But, and you'll notice this as you get further into the building. What are they typing on? It's a typewriter. We're clearly in, like current times because there's such a thing as smartphones smart watches um they've got an old school telephone that looks like it's from the 80s and you'll notice this as a motif as you go through the rest of the game um so like look at these monitors these are like crts also this is important um internal lockdown in effect building lockdown in effect multiple containment breaches detected Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override, HRA, HRA protocol activated. Um, so I looked around at a couple of pieces of paper and like newspapers. Um, I didn't see anything too important. Just like this general, like, look, they clearly don't use emails because they're sending stuff. They're sending like correspondence by paper in these tubes. They have punch cards for their time cards instead of a time clock that you put into a computer. All chalked up to the American Civil Service being wildly behind the times, but it's prohibited. Like, that's what I find really interesting about it is that these items are very specifically prohibited. Okay, so there's a couple of things in here. Uh, research expenditures isn't this just like a budget report or something um major expenditure summary q2 staffing surveillance but data center initiative construction but but minor office equipment janitorial costs bolt mold removal hq livability costs for cost breakdown spreadsheet blah 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 just like the brits according to your pa One of the things I really like when you look around is uh, her, like her idling animation. She's not always totally static. Like she'll like rub her shoulder, like it's sore, which I think is kind of cool. Like look at the ancientness of this television. There's something very strange about it, but at the same time you have cameras that are clearly watching you. So this is our head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. I think we run into him a little bit later. This is the janitor, our bureau at work. Clearly supposed to be an artistic piece. And this I also find odd is, um, and kind of, I think you can easily extrapolate that there's problems is the fact that there's just like briefcases that are just left. Stuff that was clearly in the middle of being done is not being done. Forget what's in this room. Is this just a bathroom? Hell yeah, it's a bathroom. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go this way. Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Spinning out of control, yes. Reminder to all staff. <laughs> Food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3-B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. <laughs> uh, okay, no personal calls. Don't use the photocopier for personal projects. 
Your hands can spread the mold. I've noticed this. They reference mold several times. And, like, is the mold that bad? Like, is it really that bad? I wonder if the mold is important. I can't tell yet. Anything to pick up in here? Yes. Security order. Let's see. Federal Bureau of Control. Attention all blank. Put a shark in his uh, although secure uh, permission to following basic protocol. Uh, shoot to kill. Biff. Good luck. <laughs> wow, really helpful. And this, look, look at this fucking tape recorder. It is like an SCP page. That I do like that they give you very, very small bits and pieces to work with. Like, it's a great way to gauge interest. Uh, to, or not to gauge interest, to engage interest. Because now I'm like, well, what the fuck's going on? Now you got me all interested. Yeah, like reel-to-reel -reel projectors? Like, what is that? That's ancient times. Who's texting me? My bank? Great. Ooh. I'll talk to you in a second, janitor. Let's do this. Correspondence. Uh, hello, as you all should know, um, as you all should know by now, the R4 reports are still due by the end of the week. I can't read right now because I've been at work all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain's a little scrambled. Um, we're still waiting on them from, uh, from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. Oh, I feel like I'm at work. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please conduct the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual review policy review, but please schedule accordingly. Oh, best your admin team. Like, that would give me nightmares alone. Yeah, it's a great escape from work. <laughs> Like, is this supposed to be a scary game? Because that scares me. Hello? And he can't hear you yet, honey. Okay, there's nothing in here. All right, let's go talk to you. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go oh, that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are more relevant. They can be on the sound like you come out. So, um night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. So... Somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. So, um, said, he's... I know what you're thinking. He's obviously Finnish. That's him. Oh, you doing okay? I noticed your shirt has gone missing. <laughs> down you want to keep watching YouTube out there you gonna lay down okay. <laughs> oh you get you're taking Totoro okay bye Totoro um we have a really nice stuffed Totoro that's very I cuddle with it every night okay so um this janitor I know the remedy is um or at least the portion of Remedy that was that has been developing control is Finnish, I believe. Um, I... Finland... It's not very translatable into Norwegian, but a lot of the Scandinavian languages are, like, similar enough that you're kind of like, oh, I can kind of get what they're saying. So when he said Helvete, he was saying, like, he was, as an expletive, he was saying hell. So probably something like go to hell or whatever. Um, okay. Janitor closet. Great. So, notice I'm gonna point something out to you before we do it. 
We're going to walk around the corner and the elevator is going to be around the corner. Remember when we first walked into the building? There were three paintings. And it was around. It was around. It was over there. We're now here. There's the front door. Here's the same room I walked into before. It's the bathroom. Three paintings. Same briefcase. Same magazine. But now there's an elevator. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Will you help? Perfectly routine painting location reassignment and room rotation protocol. I find myself very interested in um, what she's talking about. Uh, Jessie. So she saw something when she was young that n made her know that she needed to find this place to understand what's what happened to her. Now she found it. I'm going to go ahead and say that the Federal Bureau of Control probably found her, more likely. It decided it was time. Oh god, dude! Why you gotta remind me of his nudes? Ew. I don't want to know about that guy's nudes. They are forced upon me. Okay. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay. There's some story. Backstory. Looking for her brother. The bureau took them. And she knows that something's not not down with the real world. Okay, so I can't get in here yet, I don't think. Nope. And there's nothing for me to do over here except look at this. Okay. Alright, missions updated. Jesse Fadden. I guess that's my last name. Arrives at the old house, headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood, which we don't know a lot about yet. Uh, well, I never finished um, Beyond Two Souls. I got bored. <laughs> Reminder, redrafting any public-facing material when penning any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrases to use in the service of his, her country, regret, proud, pride will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood slash bleed, loss, apologies, or sorry. Alaska? <laughs> what? What's the deal with Alaska? <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to turn off the fan. I'm so sorry. There's probably extra noise contamination. I was just turning it on to cool off the room before I started. Okay, there. And 2B pencils are communist spies, obviously. Okay, so I can't turn off whatever that is, so we're gonna just ignore it and we're gonna keep going down this hallway. Can I do anything in here? Is there anything of import? Negatory. Uh, trench, do not disturb. Non-official. Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Um, so, Zachariah Trench. We saw his painting um, up at the front of the bureau. He is the director. 
I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay. I'm glad I turned up the brightness a bit for streaming. It would have been impossible to see. Whoa! Alright. Notifications are like something directing her. The name of the game is Control. That actually kind of makes a little bit of sense. Oh, I'm fascinated by that. Okay. And yeah, you can see the distortion again. Yeah, some shit's happening. Oh. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <gasps> Look at this place. Where am I? Uh, I think the video clip was real footage. Everything else, CG. The fact that the gun talks is really unsettling. So, object of power, which is the gun. Bubblegum Polaroid. All, none of the above. These are the concepts, tattoos we see in our minds. Service weapon. Like the house prison you occupy. Uh, can I climb up this? Yes, I can. Okay. Jump and climb. Great. Uh, what the hell? V melee. Okay. V to melee. Whoa! He exploded into bits. Oh, hello gun. Oh. Oh, what a funky little weapon. It's like it's alive. Yeah, look at it. It jiggles. Look at that jiggly mess. Okay. Uh, part of you wants to get this, but part of you knows you'd play it wrong. What do you think? Uh, why do you think you'd play it wrong? Low ammo. The service weapon regenerates animation ammunition automatically when not in use. These look like health or something. Oh, hello. Does hitting any part of you damage you more? I don't like the height of your legs compared to the rest of your body. It's very unsettling. Let's see, can I make a headshot? It doesn't do a whole lot of extra damage. Okay. Is there one more? Yep. Oh, oh, he's got a gun. Whew, okay. Oh God, oh God. Anybody else? No. 
Enemies drop health elements when damage, collect health elements to restore health. Okay. You're paying better attention to things you would have screamed by to shoot someone. Okay. Oh, well, this is just how I play games in general, though. Um, which is probably what makes me not a great entertainer when I play games. <laughs> like, some people think I'm good at streaming, and I don't agree with them because I'm so... I get so focused when I play games. Like, I, I want so much to understand what I'm playing and what I'm doing that I do things kind of slowly. Um, we wield the gun, you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. It's me. I'm the director now. He's talking to her. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Interesting. Things have quieted down outside. Hmm. Is it safe to go? No damage. <laughs> I would have expected him to get damage if I shot him again. Okay, uh... Interesting. Slow is more sincere. It's not like I'm ninja. That's true. I'm not ninja. I'm not male. Which, as we all know, is problematic. Uh, whoa! Yeah, that expression on her face. I agree with you. Uh, and I don't have blue hair. I used to. Whoa! Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Oh, it recharges quick. Research and records. His guard. Okay. Are they splicing real footage in? I think so. Some of that looked very good and real. Oh, their bodies disappeared. Some of that looked very nice and real. Um, but some of it looked like it was mocap. Um... And good on, what, what's the name of the actress? Uh, Courtney Hope, is that her name? Good on her for like that last bit of acting. She looked like genuinely upset. <laughs> director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. Zachariah Trench. Like the, 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 she looked genuinely unsettled and the like the shaking of her of her mouth was really like was really well done. It was very um emotional emotionally invoking. Um okay. Service weapon OP1-KE Object of Power. Okay, OP is object of power. Um acquirement date Acquisition date, 8-4 of 64. Containment location, N-A. Okay. Uh, containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description, para-utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians para to blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of H, uh, I guess the director. Um, the object will determine whether B, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the blah, the other criteria is unknown. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, Bert, many forms throughout history, bleh, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Baranostra, all weapons that, of their wielders. 
If objects of power are the convergences of forces based on their collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, barf. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. Oh, objects of power is just the tape we already saw. Okay. I hope people throw up in their mouths a little every time they redact something. Yeah, probably. Can I still not get through here? No. Material. Undefined reading. Oh, this stuff. Can I use that to upgrade stuff? Clearance level. I guess so. Unlocked by upgrading. Okay. Executive affairs. I don't like the red glowy. The hotline. Huh? Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. That's... That's well done. I didn't expect that. That's really interesting. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh dear. Oh fuck. Yep. Oh god. I see you. Ooh. Ah yeah! Oh, he's got a shotgun! Or some shit. Ah! Oh, oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, low ammo. Let's maybe hang out over here for a bit. Did I do it? I think I did it. God damn. It's a good thing you're- oh god, it's a good thing you all have bad aim. I mean, I have bad aim too. <laughs> oh my god, how many of there are you? Whoa. Oh, they're coming out of this red thing. Oh, funky. Uh, alright. That's creepy. Let's pick up whatever we can, I guess. I don't know how much stuff they dropped so that I can use. <sighs> Models in the air. What a buggy, <laughs> buggy game. I think they're, yeah, they're like talking. They're just chattering away. What's down here? Correspondence, <gasps> meeting minutes, what I've always wanted. Uh, agenda items for next executive meeting, rising costs of AWE response. So uh, uh, world events, uh, something world events. Update on mold eradication efforts. Yeah, what's the deal with the mold? Up upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Man, that is very, that is very meeting minutes. <laughs> yeah, I I'm so so fascinated by the. Oh look, they have their own little bar. That's cute. Um, I'm so fascinated by this concept that you can't have any high technology in, in this place. Like, it's dangerous to have high levels of technology here. Look at the age of this thing. Anything I can pick up here? 
So that's something. Shelter. Wander down this way, I guess. This looks soul crushing. What's this? Dinner reservations. <gasps> Dinner reservations at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. She's turning 46 flowers. Great. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot going on out here aside from the floating people. Should I shoot one? I don't want to shoot him. I think I'd feel bad if I shot them. I'm going to check this out. <laughs> like, what if they turned into the bad boys? Okay, but he was already dead. I don't think these guys are dead yet. I don't know if I want to. Should I? Like, really? Marshall, AW Investigations. Ooh, interesting. Let's find out more. You're you're my bad conscience, Potato. You're the you're the you're the evil voice. They're not dead, then they're in a fate worse than it. That's I guess that would be open to interpretation, I suppose. But it, is it my is it within my purview to make that decision for them? Uh, okay, confidential from former Marshall's eyes only. God, I can't read. Fuck. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Altered world events, that's what they're called. Um, wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning closed dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake ABD, AB, AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate those field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route, en route. Fuck. I can't read. To Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. I don't know if you want it to be livelier, because I get the feeling something went wrong in your bureau. Hi, Nick, how are you? Put them out of their misery. Oh, you're, you're telling me to do it too? Wow. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Your name is, your name is Nick. You are of the instant replay live fame. This is what you do. Hashtag stressed. Open assets. Wait, what did I pick up? One of these bubbles? He's cured you. So should I shoot this guy? I mean, he's in, he's in the safe room. Oh, does it not do anything? He disappeared into thin air. <laughs> that was weird. They're all so chattery. I hate that I don't know what they're saying, but it's a great like ambiance effect. Oh Lord, I don't feel safe in here. Nobody ever disappears into fat hair. In like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh, she's right. It's really repetitive. I didn't think about that. Oh, I have a map. I'm facing... I just went through executive affairs. I went from director's office to executive affairs. Now I'm in central executive. Okay, you're leaving for three and a half days of gaming in the morning, hanging out in cabin. Hopefully we might even get murdered. <gasps> If we don't, come back, give the kids to their parents again. Great. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed, um, like, a notice about... His guard. This is what I missed. Okay. Uh, they've left behind their room like some kind of hurricane relief zone. It's a total mess. Karen looks so jazzed to see that you might die. Rachel had a meltdown. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I mean, I relate to her having a meltdown. I relate to you having to deal with that meltdown. I'm sorry. Just all around sorry. <laughs> you get to watch me play this game, which is really hot. Like, <laughs> not, um, not stressful at all. 
Okay, field research on his entity, his corrupted security guard, confidential. Summary, the Bureau has many internal security personnel. The HIS was quick to take advantage of this fact. HIS guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. Okay, I've come across both of those, I think. Um, why don't the larger of you eat the rest? That is a question. Okay. Um... They have no observed paranatural uh, abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Does the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tax, uh, tasks they are best suited to? Combat, tra combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on their use of their weapons. Refer to file blank for full report. Dense hiss resonance sounds like fat air. It does. It's appropriate that it came up. <laughs> so this is interesting. So the hiss. Hmm. Whoa. I just noticed this. Are you seeing this? Compiled by Emily Pope. We don't know who that is, but by order of director Jesse Fadden. That's me. I'm already putting out memos? What the fuck? So, oh. Oh, the people, I think the people that I, I think the people floating in the air are being infected because of what it says here, uh, shielding of dense hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Did you notice when I tried to shoot that guy that was floating in the air, it didn't look like anything was happening until like the fourth or fifth shot. So it can take over anybody, but it utilizes combat people for combat. Oh, fascinating. This is so interesting so far. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Ah, oh, God, it's the radio. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, the fact that my face suddenly popped up all over here. So I get the feeling that um, Bureau of Control definitely has a lot of uh, squishiness when it comes to time. Because if I'm... If I've just become the director and I'm already, and like, I'm also hearing the old director having conversations with me. Oh yeah, you did miss the prohibition lists. Yeah, Alaska. You also can't say uh, blood or bleed. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Only if they're exceeded uh, allotted floating permitted permission time. I'm gonna pick up everything in here before I, read them there's a couple of things one two what about across the hallway this was where the radio was yeah okay let's read these i like the world building this is very interesting i just said both well i'm the director i'm allowed to say both duh examination of paranatural topics um urban legends Summary, urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Young's archetypes. Okay, yes, that's true. We recognize certain blah, informed by our own huh, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially huh, in popular culture using boof our bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Um, certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on huh, a pair of scissors that consume human birth through two punctures on the... A pair of scissors that consume human blood through two punctures in the neck. That's why they... That's why they said you couldn't say scissors. Oh, AWEs that only occur on Alaska. A pair of scissors that consume human blood through two punctures on the neck. 
Oh, fucking, oh, that's really interesting. They're already tying it together. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends is not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file numbers for full report. This is totally just SCP, but like with better combat. <laughs> Visitor evaluations. Um, how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We're proud to serve the U.S. and her people as we strive for transparency and the excellence of all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, ask them these questions. Uh, are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blur, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable, acceptable range of deviancy, then provide a scoring sheet, then burp immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. So, probably termination if they're not good enough. Okay, already came through here. Anything important? The the way this building is put together is very stressful. <laughs> Although, admittedly, based on what I found so far, it's not uncommon for the building to move around. Oh, oh, it's the pyramid. Look. How do I? Do I just have to jump down? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, some of them came down. Oh my god, ranger. Oh my god, a ranger. Ah! That's bad. That's very bad. Rangers are bad. Level one. I see a level one. Can I just take you out real quick? There we go. I like that they've given me lots of cover. That's nice. Oh, I see you. Oh god. Oh. He's got a bullpup. Fuck off. Oh, oh god. Um, okay. I'm gonna change tactics a little bit. Can I get higher? Oh god, oh god. Oh, my health is dangerously low! My health is dangerously low. Die. I'm gonna die. There it is. <laughs> oh, I almost had that. Keep moving to avoid enemy fire and sustain less damage. I should have stayed where I was behind that one pillar. I started running around too much and lost where they were. The, the red glare is... Oh no, I'm all the way back here. The red glare is pretty um, stressful. Okay, but I've already picked up, like, the notes and everything. Cool. What a loading tip. Avoid bullets, uh, bullets to not get shot. Okay, so everything I've picked up. It's like the Bureau has its own personality. It's communicating with me while I talk to myself. Okay. I noticed some of them fall for- Oh, these are security guards! Take them out! Take them out while I'm up here! Oh god, they throw grenades! Oh, fuck. Alright, so I'm gonna fall down and there's gonna be, like, at least three more dudes. Okay. Pick up health while I'm at it. Health, health, health. Whoa, hello! You! I don't like you! Okay. 
He's definitely a dangerous boy. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep moving. Seems like when I shoot at him, he stumbles, he can't shoot me back, which is great. I love that. Oh, this is a bit too short for me. Come on, come on! There we go. Got you. An enemy. This is a control point? Okay. Weird. Okay, so... These pyramids, that's what gave me the gun in the first place. I wonder if this will take me back to the same kind of place. Maybe? Is that a good guess? Oh no, it just... Oh, it just clears everything up. And it puts the building back into place. Oh! And now we have a normal building. Shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, I can fast travel. Are you with us? I can wear outfits. With the Are you still sane? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Huh. I'm Pope. Emily Pope. Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. What are they wearing? Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. We, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and probably a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. So me shooting up that guy. Our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau. She's a... 
Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Yeah, I noticed that potato. That she was like, I can't even. Before. Push the hiss out. We just have to do it to somebody else. I'm gonna look around first. Pick up anything I can find. Because I don't want to move forward plot without having options. Uh, I want to see outfits. Tactical response. <gasps> oh, damn girl. Civilian looks really good on her, though. Like with her hair kind of around her face. The final boss is Emily's Good Omens fanfic Tumblr page. <laughs> Okay, I'll stay with civilian for now. Okay. Um, all right, let's look around. See if there's anything else I can pick up that's interesting before I try to cleanse this bros of... Really? Still won't let me through? I'm the fucking director! I hope you can get the Max Payne 1 skin for Emily. <laughs> Elevator. Yeah, like, look, time cards. Oh, so strange. Okay. Hey, girl. Whoa, her pupils just went like whew. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Alright, so I think I think I killed her. Yeah. Okay, so there's no way for me to save them. So I'm gonna uh, shut up, Emily. Shut up, Emily. I'm gonna talk. <laughs> actually no, let's um actually look at the the this. <laughs> um so the fact that I had already put out like that little uh, documentation, the research, th this, before I'd even met Emily Pope, I picked this up before I'd ever met her. Like, what the hell? This is wild. <laughs> I'm so like, huh, okay, his agent. Um, his corrupted agents. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they level bleh, levitate. <laughs> Um, these hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing their strange incantation ad inf infinitum. Inf ad infinitum. Jesus, it's always hard for me to say that. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi bo boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution when attacked hiss agents disappear? Perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file but for the full report. So compiled by Emily Pope by order of me. Control points. Uh, paranatural topics. Control points. Control points are located in the bureau. Uh, are locations in the bureau that the bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the, in the but arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience un, any unforeseen building shifts. Oh, so what's been happening then is the these control points, whatever the these harmon, harmonization devices, they look like they're just like um, satellite, like tiny satellites. Um, so if they're not arranged properly or set up properly, then the building can shift around them, which normally they wouldn't. These control points are discovered by 
huh, detection of an unobstructed, unobstructed ping using the ER within 30 to 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or blah, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. A common factor in these theories is that the control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside of it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be brrr, refer to file numbers for a full report. Weird. Uh, where did Emily go? Oh, she's over there. So yeah, satellite, tiny satellite, a uh, save point from uh, No Man's Sky, and a canister of some blood. <laughs> I can't cleanse that. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau- Her- her hometown's called Ordinary. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I love the skin. Mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. I love the way they rendered her skin. You were at ground zero as a child? Like all her freckles, you can see the little laugh lines around her face around her mouth. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but it's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or uh, suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. Emily? She looks the same. Saved us. For a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk There's a board of control? That. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He made a point about not wearing one. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. Uh, it's a floating box in the middle of a giant room. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. It looks like Magneto, so you're right. <sighs> that telephone ain't got no real dial. The guy who opens old rations, um, I know what you're talking about. I have not. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. 
Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. I sure do love Babish. He's a good boy. He's a good noodle boy. Can I just... I'm just gonna stand on this table while I talk to you. Oh! <laughs> Okay, never mind. Oh, hello, regulator. Okay, Origins of the Hiss, the oldest house, director, trench objects, power. Um, let's talk about the oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? Some nice hiss. That's all you can think about. The oldest house is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Interesting. Might it? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, can I skip this? Skip. Skip. No. I, I pressed a button. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I meant to press this one. <laughs> before you came in no no just inside the source is internal then see the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well i don't even know where to start looking but in the context it's good news the lockdown holds the hiss escaping the building would be the end pretty shitty world out there if you ask me but i wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it I'm with you on that emily I feel like I already have a good idea of objects of power, but I do want to know more about Director Trench. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. An echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. All right. I don't know if I care much about I'm the sure rest of that. Question soon. Just let me know. Okay. So that's all that was in here. So let's actually... All right. So it wants me to go up to that yellow bit. Okay, maybe don't... Okay, thank you for not lasering me with your gun. Jerkwad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, boardroom, which I was just in. Sector elevator. This is probably where I need to go. Yeah? Or not. The guy needs better training from the director. Shoot him. <laughs> Can you imagine what would happen? Oh, I see. It wants me to go this way. Comms department. <gasps> It'll take me to the cafeteria. We can eat. Nostalgia department and dead letters. That's interesting. You're interesting. Give. There it is again. A welcome message. Oh yeah, listen to that. Whatever happened when I took control of the gun? It is a dramatic unboxing.
All right, Mr. Comms Director, you seem a bit fucked up. I want clearance level. Oh God. Oh dear. Things look like they're about to get messy. What is this? A weapon mod? <gasps> Ammo refund. Ooh, funky. Funky stuff, y'all. Oh, give. That feels really good to do that. Just go <laughs> and open a box. All right, let's see what I've picked up. Um, so I have a weapon mod. Uh, health recovery, deconstruct. 50 of my goobly guff, which I have, so we might as well use that. Oh no, I deconstructed! No, 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 no! That's not what I wanted! Can I undo? <laughs> Fuck! Oh no. I meant to, oh, I meant to equip it. Ammo refund chance on hit. Yes, I'll equip that. I did eat it immediately. Bad. Is there any way for me to reload? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope when I come back I'll have it again. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hiss is not the only threat. Okay, um... Uh, the place I want to go is over here. I'll find the stapler poster in a hot second. You calm your tits. There it is again. A welcome message. Oh, god. There's only those two guys up here. Okay. You said stapler poster, this guy? Is that sta is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside the building. <laughs> um, okay. That's not what I meant to do. Damn it, I just ate that mod. He's a cute stapler. I agree. Good boy. He's a good noodle. That's it. He's not a stapler. He's a noodle. Where is he? Oh, that sounds awful. Well, somebody's wearing that thing, but he died any- Whoa! Oh, he looks gross. I got a headshot. I yeah, move it, girl. Oh, I like the that it like damages the environment around you. That's a really nice touch. There he is. Research and records, his barriers. 
Let's see. I guess he died hard, man. Uh, the Hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. The Hiss barrier appears as two as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in their vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected source of Hiss residents. Okay. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the Hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the Hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file book for full report. Portrait of Zachariah Trench. Okay. Correspondence. Uh, let's see. Travel costs. I guess I need to know about that. Uh, accommodation, meals, gasoline, minibar. Nevada. Stayed at a lot of places. Um, hello, James. How are you? Uh, I do wonder if a motel called Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I've not paid to think. Uh, budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Raleigh and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. Poison research said performing rituals may help identify uh, any places of power. Drinking these little whiskeys is my ritual. Sleepy but otherwise okay. Yep, kind of in the same boat. Pretty sleppy. So, what is she referring to as the Hiss resonances? Like, what items is she suggesting? What items is she suggesting that there are? Wait. Is that a box I can open? No, it's a recycling bin. Make sure to recycle! I don't want to go in there right now. <laughs> okay, that's blocked off. Wait, so comms... Ooh, what's in here? Bathroom! Ooh! Somebody left a document in the bathroom. Unstable area notice. Uh, word up, James, says Potato. Such chatty fans. Yep. So chatty. Especially after I ate my first mod. Federal Bureau of Control, please be aware. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart green stable, yellow low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange high likelihood, red frequent and unanticipated building shifts. It's very interesting. Okay. This was a detour I didn't really need to make, but I think was interesting regardless. Is it this way? No, it's... Over there. Okay. Alright, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Let's do this. I do think it's in here. Yep, this is it. Oh, the screaming is getting really stressful. Dead letters. Communications department. This does not feel safe. It's dark in here. Okay, machine god. Let's take a look at that. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how to on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Wow. 
You're all for recycling, but the council's rules confuse me about what not to put in the bin. Just get in the bin and when the guys turn up, pop out and ask. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Like, it doesn't seem like I can save these guys anyways. I might as well just kill him. There we go. Oh, he's throwing a grenade! Okay, cool. A capital idea, he says. Yes. Capital. Shatter recoil efficiency. Ooh. Oh, I don't have space for anything else. Okay, hang on. So, can I um, unequip? And then let's look at what this one is. Exclusive to shatter. Then shatter and grip. Okay, all I have right now I think is grip. Alright, so I can't use it yet. But I have it. And that's the important part. So I have to level up my weapon. I just don't know how to do that yet. What is this? Singing fish? What the fuck? Am I gonna find a bunch of really weird letters now? Yeah, these are all dead letters. Okay. Mr. Gov- Miss Mr. Governor. I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem and you gotta send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because the fish and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset when can you come. Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. So dark. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, let's kind of look around a bit. I mean, make sense of this place. I mean, I can't. And hear something. Do as you're told, don't eat mold. Even the smallest amount of mold can cause, ser cause serious harm. Contact security immediately. Oh, so mold is more of a paranormal problem here. Oh, interesting. So maybe that's why they keep talking about it. Trench dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purpose, uh, purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Real people? What, like, what, as opposed to unreal people? <laughs> Excuse me, I had a really big dinner. Okay. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters, P. Bartwell. Okay. Whoa! What the hell was that? I'm gonna have to fuck. Ah! Recharging. Jesus! Oh god. I have to shoot through their shields first. Oh, and that's a nightmare, as it turns out. Shit, 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 shit. I see you. Thankfully, you don't have much of a shield, but you do. I 
I'm the burping lady? Yeah, it's on my CV. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck off! Come on! Where are you? You bitch! Wonder if I can shoot it through the wall. Me and this guy are dancing. Come on. Come on. Fuck! Shit! Oh, his shield is really pissing me off. I see it. Oh, it wants me up there. It wants me up there soon. Alright, let me look around. So I've been in there. Um, walked through here. I've walked through the hell for you. Let it burn right through my shoes. <gasps> Health boost! Health boost! Yay, I'm not gonna eat this mod. I'm gonna equip it. <laughs> okay, that one's not gonna become a, a bad boy. What's an adventure to do? But rest these feet at home with you. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can make my way up to uh, this squirrely bit of noise. And what time is it? Ooh, time for me to start getting ready to relax for bed. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna explore a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think I need to worry about that. I'll need to fix that before I can get into the comms department, I think. But in the meantime, let's watch this TV sh program? Yeah! Just look at him. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, <laughs> those things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched Three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. So I have to go find this floppy disk. If I find the floppy disk, I can launch. Please tell me that's what I get to do. Because that sounds amazing. I am tickled absolutely pink at the idea. Okay. Cleanse that control point, girl! There we go. Now we have a functional room. Did I find a new outfit? No. Okay. But those help me with the fast travel. On the right track. That is where I need to go. Although that's unsettling. Okay. So I, I'm in dead letters. I just have to make my way to comms. This is where I just came from. Oh, what does this say? 
Avoid modern technology. Yeah. They've... Uh, Alright, they're being very explicit about that. They don't want you to use modern technology because it's a bad boy. It's bad boy time. Let's see if any of these doors opened up while we were in there. Or while we fixed everything up. If they did, we might find more stuff. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's this? <gasps> Tiva? More Tiva? That is so scary. Um, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> really, really uncomfortable. His life is in your hands. I don't want that to ever happen to me ever again. Dead presidents. Great. Great, great, great. <laughs> yeah, it definitely opened up a bunch of things. And gave me more things to play with. Big, if a big red guy shows up, the game's, game's over. Since you know the game's already over, I'm dead already. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> <laughs> I never get over like I never get tired of saying time is a flat circle <laughs> oh boy time is a flat circle alright next time I see a autosave pop up I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward, but, or I'm gonna end the stream because I'm tired, um, but we did pick up some stuff. So, uh, non-official book club. Hello, avid readers. The B Bureau Book Brunch. Oh, the Bureau Book Bunch will convene in the usual spot in the corner table of cafeteria at 5 p.m. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters. Dead presidents. To who it may concern. I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. <gasps> John Adams. John Adams? <laughs> I know him. Uh, he's that little guy who spoke to me. All those years ago, what was it? 85. That poor man, they're going to kill, uh, eat him alive. Oceans rise, empires fall. All right, anyways. <laughs> uh, people tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I'm a great dead man. Um, I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help me run, to help run the government, 
<laughs> Please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Bartholomew. I never want to watch this tape ever again. Like, fuck Christ, goddamn. What's in here? Is it Satan? No, it's the bathroom. Close enough. They have very nice bathrooms. Start every stream with that tape! <laughs> All of them. Comms department, we are here to help. They don't just have to be the streams for this game. Just all streams. Uh, okay, let's see. I should be heading to the left. But what's up here? It really sets the mood. Um, lady? You're just floating. I just want you to know. Oh, can't get through there. Oh, hell yeah, goodies. This is what I get for being a real gamer. Stardew Valley stream? Show that mama. I agree. So this is... Let's unequip that. This is accuracy boost. This is ammo refund. Exclusive to spin. This is not exclusive. Let's do accuracy boost. I'm not a very good shot. No, I didn't want to eat that one. I agree with you. There's something very pleasing about like all of the concrete walls with the, like the bright concrete walls with the orange piping and wooden banisters. Just a good contrast. I watch a lot of grand designs, I'm sorry. Whoa! Did that guy just get killed by a pneumatic? Whoa! Oh dear. That, okay. Object of power. Like the of Woo! Reach the object of power to cleanse it. Okay, so I have to avoid all the bits and bobs. All right, let's do that. Oh, I can crouch, finally. Okay, and it toggles to crouch, okay. All right, floating people are feng shui, <laughs> feng shui staple. <laughs> they hover around ley lines, yeah, you're probably right. Portal to hell. Oh, Jesus, oh, that's very unsettling. Was that the only thing in here? Yes. Is there a way around that? No. Okay, so I'd have to run down there. Okay, I think I got it. Uncrouch. Run. Wait for it to bop at me. Oh god! Oh! Do this. Seems to go three at a time. Woo! Oh. Oh god! Ouch! What are ley lines and why do I feel like there's been more talk about them recently? Because the world is ending. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. So I have to get to it to cleanse it. Oh, it knows I'm here. All right, there's a little bit of cover there. Purdy. Minesweeper. Yeah, huh, huh, okay, bye, bye.
All right, well, they've given me a pretty clear, like, way of getting to it, which is nice. <sighs> Can I get to that without getting absolutely myrtleized? It's the floppy disk! Hey! Come on, girl, you got it. You the director, you got it, girl. Yes. It's the nuke. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay. So hold E to grab highlighted objects and release E to launch. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that feels good. Use launch to complete the astral plane challenge. Fuck you. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So you occasionally just end up in this place whenever the board feels like you need to... Whoops! Can I pick up, um... People? Woo! Shit. Okay, it's kind of hard to walk around. While well, you have this going. Okay, let's heal up. <laughs> that was pretty. The hiss noise is burrowing into our astral plane's secret base. You must stop them, mute them. Wait. Which is not what I've been fighting. So that's something I have to worry about in the future when they send me here. Oi. Okay. Yeah, doing this while, like, kind of running around is... I'm trying to get used to it. It's not too bad. Okay. F to pay respects. The floppy disk is now bound and delivered. Seeking our astral plane. There we go. I am saved. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Oh, well, now there's a shit ton of them. Whoa! My game straight up crashed. <laughs> okay. Um, I was just trying to pause it. But anyways, it saved. So... <laughs> I'm gonna start getting ready for bed anyways. This was really interesting. Um... Like, really, really interesting. I am super duper enjoying it. I definitely want to know more about Jesse. I want to know, know more about the Federal Bureau of Control. I want to know more about the Hiss. I want to understand what's going on. Um, it's very mysterious. It's, like, creepy, but not particularly, like, horrifying, which is great. Um, it has a really good ambiance. There's great world building so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, 
yeah, I'm uh, I'm having a good time. I think this is probably going to be the only time I'll stream it. I, I sort of just wanted to, for anybody that wasn't sure about the game, I sort of wanted to see if um, maybe people might get a better gauge of whether or not they wanted to play it, just based on me playing it. Um, I'd recommend it. I think it's super fun. And I also just kind of want to be able to take in the game um, more fully, which I'll be able to do better on my own. And besides, I'm in the middle of streaming Dead Space 2, which is a bonkers game. <sighs> and I want to keep playing that. And who knows how long it's going to take me to finish Control, so I don't want to take up a bunch of time streaming that. Um, but thanks, uh, Potato, specifically, for joining for this entire stream. It's very kind of you. Um, and uh, thanks everybody else for popping in and saying hello. This has been a lot of fun. Um, it's been nice to see everybody and hang out and learn about control. Yay! All right, bedtime, everybody. You're all great. You're all delicious. Good times. I'll see you later. Bye!